Hey everyone, today I have an upper body workout for you that is gonna take you just over 30 minutes to complete. It's broken up into two circuits and then we have a quick little Tabata finisher at the end. The first circuit is gonna focus on biceps, triceps. Second circuit will focus more on shoulders and back. And then the Tabata at the end will get a little sweaty. It'll be sort of shoulders and chest. For each circuit, I'm gonna give you five exercises. You go through them doing each exercise for 30 seconds and then pulsing in the exercise for 15. So it'll be full range of motion, 30 seconds. You pulse for 15, you rest for 15, and then you go to the next exercise. In total, we're gonna to go through the circuit three times, but that third and final time we don't pulse, so it'll just be 30 on, 15 rest, 30 on, 15 rest. And if that sounds confusing, don't worry. I'm gonna guide you through the whole thing and I will give you a preview of the exercises before each chunk of this workout. So it's not gonna to be too much information all at once. For equipment, you're just gonna need a set of dumbbells. And if you do have multiple sets on hand, I highly recommend having a drop set available. So I have a set of 10 pounds, a set of eight pounds, and even a set of five pounds that I'm gonna use for one exercise. If you don't have quite that many options, don't worry about it. Um, but I would definitely suggest like a medium set and then something lighter than you think you actually need because you're gonna get tired by the end of this, trust me. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna give you a preview of the exercises before each circuit and then before our Tabata. Your best way to modify the circuits, use lighter weights. As with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand and always listen to your body, modifying or stopping as needed. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever you like. So if you don't have a playlist or a podcast or a TV show queued up, you might wanna get that going. And with all that said, let's get to a preview of our first circuit. Okay, so this first circuit is going to focus on biceps and triceps. We're gonna do three exercises, biceps, the final two exercises, we'll hit the backs of the arms. It's gonna be 30 seconds in a full range of motion, 15 seconds of pulsing. If the pulsing doesn't work for you, you don't like it, it's too much, you could also opt to do 45 seconds, full range of motion. So when I go to pulse, if you don't want to, just stick with the full range. All right, I'm gonna start with a set of 10 pound weights. I have a drop set on hand though, so if it proves to be too much this first round, I'll go lighter. We're gonna start with circle, circle curls, so forms are going to stay parallel. And let's go. So we have 30 seconds in this full range of motion. You switch direction when you hit the bottom. Halfway there, we got 15 more seconds in this full range of motion. Make sure your shoulders aren't hunching forward, so think broad across the collarbones, keeping that connection to our core, bracing through the abdominals. All right, now I want you to hold wide palms up and it's a little pulse. Up, up, a little pulse, up, up. You have 15 seconds here, and then we'll break for 15 seconds before going into the next exercise. and 15 seconds to rest. Okay, next up we're gonna do hammer curls, so still focusing on the biceps. I'm just gonna move this, it's kinda in my way. So for hammer curls, palms face in towards each other. Now same deal, roll the shoulder blades down, and you're curling up and back. If doing both arms together is too much, you have the option to alternate. You can go right and then left, whatever works for you. 30 seconds in this full range of motion, and then we will pulse at 90. 
Now, if you notice that you're rocking a lot to get those weights up, that might be a sign that you should alternate right and then left or drop to lighter weights. Okay, hold 90 degrees, little pulse, up, up, 15 seconds here. If you don't like the pulse, go to full range, okay? But stay active. Oh, and rest. Okay, so we have one more exercise kind of focused on biceps, then we'll switch the focus to the backs of the arms. This is going to be an extension and then a front extension. So just like hammer curls, let's start at 90 degrees. You're going to extend the arms in front of you. You're going to rotate open wide. You're going to extend them out wide to the side. Rotate in. Halfway there. For the pulses, we're going to hold wide and it's a little bend and stretch. Uh, all right, hold wide, elbows extended, little bend, extend. Woo, definitely switching to eights after this round. Uh, and rest. Okay, 15 seconds to shake it out. Next up, we're going to switch to triceps. The first exercise will be tricep kickbacks. We'll be hinging forward. Okay, let's go. Hips slide down and back. Kick back, squeeze. Weights come forward. Kick back, squeeze. Now make sure again your shoulders aren't hunching, so you're brought across those collarbones. I know I'm a broken record, but that tends to be the first thing to go with the form. For the pulse, we'll hold our arms straight. Hold them straight, little lift, up, up. Ah, 15 seconds to rest. Okay, one more exercise. It's gonna be a tricep extension. You can keep both weights, or if you want to drop down to one, that's an option too. They'll be above your head, and we'll lower and lift up like that. Okay. Let's go. Weights drop down, up overhead. Keep the elbows in tight towards the side of your head so they're not bowing out to the sides. Now I've staggered my feet to help me maintain a nice neutral spine so I'm not dumping into the low back. We're gonna hold it 90 and pulse it out, coming up. Hold that 90, little pulse, up, up, you got it. Final 15 seconds. Woo, 30 seconds to rest, okay. 10 pound weights are going away. I'm gonna drop down to eights for this next round. So we're going through that twice more. Shake out those arms. Start finding your weights. We're going to start at the top with those circle curls. Palms face forward. Softness to the knees, just so that you don't walk out and hyperextend into the low back. Yes, this is an upper body circuit, but we want to make sure we're maintaining that connection to our abdominals. So just make sure that you're not puffing out through the rib cage. All right, hold wide and pulse. Rest. Okay, 15 seconds to shake it out. Going into hammer curls up next. All right, grab those weights. Palms are going to face in. Thumbs are going to point up. Hammer curl in, back down. Third 
30 seconds full range of motion. Option to alternate, to tone it down a notch. Pulse is coming up. Both elbows bend to 90. And let's go. Find 90 degrees. Little pulse up, up. Squeeze, squeeze. You got it. Ah, rest. Okay, shake it out. Coming up next, we have that lateral extension front extension with that little newspaper hinge. Let's go. Extend it forward, rotate wide, press, bend those elbows back in, rotate. Okay, hold, the, hold them wide, elbows a little away from your body, little pulse. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Oh, rest. Okay, we're gonna switch focus to triceps. We'll start with those triceps kickbacks. Hinge forward, long spine. Reach your butt back, chest is broad. Kick those arms back, then bring them forward. Forward. Hold them straight, little pulses. If the pulses are too much, go back to the kickbacks. I feel like cousin it with this hair rest. <laughs> okay, one more exercise in this circuit. It's gonna be that overhead tricep extension. Again, option to stagger your feet if it helps prevent you from arching into that low back, and let's go. If two weights together is too much, just use one, okay? Coming up, we'll hold at 90 and pulse it out. Last time you have pulses, okay? Okay, hold, little pulse. Oh, and done. Awesome job. Okay, you have 30 seconds to rest. So this third and final round, think of it like a lightning round. There's no pulsing. So it's just 30 seconds full range, 15 seconds rest. We go through the five exercises one final time like that. Because we're not adding in the pulses, maybe you go back to your heavier weights. I'm feeling good and challenged with my eights though, so I'm gonna stick to my eight pound weights for this final lightning round. Circle curls coming up. Last time through these exercises, you got it. Up and over, switch the direction at the bottom. You got this. Biceps and triceps will be done after this. We'll switch the focus in our second circuit. At those beeps, we just get to rest, no pulses. Rest. All right, hammer curls coming up next. If your grip strength is starting to go, put the weights down during these rest intervals for a second, okay? Hammer curls. Let's go, 30 seconds. 
It's not about how many reps you get in during these work intervals. I care about quality. If that quality starts to slip, alternate arms. Oh, rest. Okay, we got that newspaper. Extension wide, extension forward. Just like the hammer curl, palms face in, thumbs point up to start. Start at that 90 degree bend. Let's go. Extend it forward. You don't lock out the elbows though. Rotate open, extend it wide. Forward. Don't lock out the elbows. 15 seconds. Oh, rest. Okay, 15 seconds here. We got two exercises to go. Tricep kickbacks, tricep extensions. Hinge it forward, elbows lifted. Kick straight back, bend to bring them forward. Give me the tiniest little pause when the arms are straight. rest. Okay, one final exercise to go. We got that overhead tricep extension. Wiggling out my fingers here. One or both weights. Option to stagger your feet. Gentle drawing of the ribs in towards your midline so that we have that gentle bracing feeling through the abdominals. We're in our final 30 seconds of this circuit. Biceps, triceps done after this. 15 seconds, let's go. Ah, and done. Awesome work. Okay, you have a full 60 seconds to recover. I'm gonna give you a preview of our next circuit. focus on shoulders and back. I'm going to start with my eight pound weights, um, but if you're feeling good and you want to start with your heavier set, go for it. First exercise is going to be an Arnold press. So that's arms together and then you open them up as you do your shoulder press and then circle them back in around your face. 30 seconds and some pulses. I'm staggering my feet again because for overhead arm stuff, I find that it just helps me maintain a nice neutral spine. So palms face towards you at the bottom, rotate around, press them up. Fifteen more seconds moving in this full range of motion. We'll hold at the bottom. Palms are actually going to face in towards each other for a little pulse up and down. Right here. So palms face in towards each other right in front of your face and it's just a little pulse up up. Woo, these burn. Up, 
up. Try to keep your elbows narrower than your shoulders so they're not way out here. Up, up, almost there. <laughs> and rest. All right, next exercise, a little bit of a combo. You start at 90 degrees, bent raise, rotate open, shoulder press at the top, reverse that rotation down. I'll show you from the side these first couple reps. Okay, start at 90, rotate open, up overhead, reverse it, rotate closed, drop your elbows. Use your breath to help you on this one. If you cannot do this without dumping into your low back, you need to use lighter weights, okay? For the pulses, we're going to hold at goal post position, and then it's just a little pulse here. So wide shoulder press, little pulse. Up, up. You got it. Huh. 15 seconds to rest. All right, next exercise. And I'm actually going to drop down to fives for these, because um, straight arm stuff is tough. <laughs> Okay, so it's a lateral raise, slide to center, lower, lift back up, slide it wide, lower. Now if you have history of rotator cuff issues or these just bother your shoulders, you do have the option to do them with your thumbs pointing up to the ceiling instead. This rotation will make your biceps work a little harder and it'll be, feel a little easier for the shoulders, but otherwise I want palms down. Now, I'm not gonna make you hold your arms straight to the side for pulses. Instead, we're just gonna alternate the front raise. So meet me with your palms at your uh, thighs. And I just want you to lift one arm up at a time. If you're feeling good here, you could just stop at the halfway point, rest. Whew. But no need to, I wanna be realistic with that one. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the eights. Next up, we have a row fly combo. So you're gonna be in this hinged forward position, one row, one reverse fly. Let's go, one row, one fly. Fifteen more seconds. For the pulses on this one, you're going to hold the row. All right, hold the row. It's a little pulse. Back, back. Fifteen seconds to rest. Okay, one final exercise in this circuit. It's going to be an upright row. You'll hinge forward and it's that bent wide row, just like that. So adding in that little hip hinge, I'll do it from the front and then I will do a couple reps facing the side. Hinge forward. When you hinge forward, keep a long spine and don't round at your shoulders. To show you from the side. We'll hold the upright row for pulses on this one. Or sorry, the bent row. Hold it bent, elbows up, little pulse, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze. If this feels awkward, just turn your elbows in and do the same round of pulses that we did in the previous exercise. Oh, and rest. Okay, you have 30 seconds to recover here. We're going through that circuit one more time with the pulses and then we'll do that lightning round, no pulsing. All right, we're gonna start at the top with that Arnold press. I'm using eight pound weights. I got my fives on hand though. <laughs> All right, palms facing in towards you to start. Open up, rotate up, close. 30 seconds here, or 15 seconds pulsing. So this second time through, we are adding the pulsing again. It's the last time you have to add in that pulse though. The pulses for these, palms will face in towards each other. 
Elbows will press in towards each other and then we'll pulse up. All right, bring those in front of your face. So from the side, it looks like this. And again, your goal is to keep the elbows in a little narrower than your shoulders. You're gonna feel a big burn that way, so don't let them drift out here. Squeeze them in as you pulse up, up, Woo, rest. Okay, we got that combo, it's that bent raise. We rotate open, shoulder press overhead. I'm gonna stagger my feet, maintain neutral spine, brought across the collarbones. Let's go, start that 90 degree bend. Keeping the 90 degree bend, lift the elbows up, Rotate open, shoulder press, reverse it. So that rotation closed and open right there, that's the tough part. Not that the rest of it is easy. Do not be afraid to drop down in weight, okay? Okay, meeting goal post position, little shoulder press wide. Up. Up, a little pulse. You can always alternate pulsing right and then left if you prefer. Ooh, 15 seconds to rest. All right, we got that lateral raise, slide to center, front raise. I'm going light, I'm going with fives for these. Bothers my shoulders to have arms straight with too much weight. Lateral raise, slide, front raise. Now remember, the pulses for these, it's not really a pulse. I'm not gonna make you hold your arms straight to your sides, especially if you're using heavier weights. So we're just gonna alternate that front raise. If you wanna make it harder though, you can just do the top half. Okay, so one arm at a time, front raise, left and then right. If you're looking to advance it, you only drop down about halfway. Rest. Okay, I'm gonna go back up to my eight pounds. Combo, bent row, bent fly. The fly is harder than the row. If the fly gets to be too much, just row. One row, one fly. So I want you to exhale on the fly so that you maintain that abdominal connection. I don't want your fly to look like this, dumping into your back. So by exhaling, you're kind of reminding yourself to keep that core engagement. The pulses here will be in your row. So hold that row back, little pulse, pulse. Neck is long. Rest. Okay, we got one more exercise to go. It's that upright row, wide bent row combo. Palms are going to face your body. Row leading with the elbows, lower down, hinge at the hips, wide row at the bottom. Hips come forward, squeeze your seat at the top. We're gonna hold the bent row for pulses. All right, find that bent position, wide row. Up, squeeze. Again, if it's awkward, do it with elbows in, okay? And rest, okay. No more pulsing, so that's good. We have our lightning round to finish, although it's not that quick. We'll do 30 seconds full range, 15 seconds rest going through all those exercises one final time. Um, because we're not adding the pulses, if you wanna go up and wait, go for it. Um, I'm good with my eights though. <laughs> Arnold press will be the first exercise we do. Palms face you, open up, press up. Just making sure my mic is still working. Yes, it is.
15 seconds to rest. Got that little combo coming up. You start in kind of a hammer curl position, elbows bent at 90, palms face in towards each other, keeping that 90 degree angle. You lift up, you rotate open. Oh, shoulder press overhead. Fifteen seconds to go. Ah, oh, man, that rotation open is tough. Ah, oh, rest. All right, dropping to my fives. Lateral raise, slide together, front raise. Let's go. Bring them together, lower them down. Final few seconds. Rest. Okay, gonna go back to my eights. Two exercises to go. So that in total, 60 seconds of work and then we're done with this circuit and you'll just have your little Tabata finisher. Row fly combo. One row, one fly. If the fly gets to be too much, maybe you do two rows and then one fly, okay? Make it work for you. Ah. Rest. One exercise to go. Upright row, wide bent row. Let's do it. You're done with the circuit after this. Hip hinge. Squeeze your seat. and done with that circuit. Okay, you got 60 seconds to rest. I'm gonna show you our final two exercises. It'll be our little Tabata finisher. Um, if you don't wanna be jumping around though, then maybe this is the end of your workout. Up to you. Okay, switching to a voiceover so that my mic doesn't get muffled during those surfer get-ups. We are going to start with the marching plank. So make your way to a high plank position, hands under shoulders, reach your legs long. And from here, you're lower onto your forearms and press back up to straight arms. I want you alternating your lead arm each rep. So you would go right, left, right, left. And then the next time go left, right, left, right. Your hips are staying as level as possible. And at any point, if you need to modify, drop those knees down. Okay, you have 10 seconds to rest. Surfer get-ups are coming up next. So it's kind of like the bottom half of a burpee. One foot is staggered in front. Hands come to the floor. Lower yourself down with control. Maintain abdominal engagement. And then snap yourself back up to that low squat position with your other foot in front. So it is like you're jumping up onto a surfboard.
10 seconds to rest. Make your way to that high plank position, marching plank coming up at the beeps. Let's go. Now, if you're having a, having a hard time keeping your hips level, if there's a lot of dumping side to side, I want you to try separating your feet wider than hips distance apart, and that should help. Rest. Surfer get-ups coming up next. You have options with these. If you don't want to lower your chest to the floor, you could just jump to a plank and give me a push-up. Or like I demoed before we got going, you can always just do modified push-ups with your knees staying down on the ground. The important thing is that we are getting that push off of the floor. Okay, and you are halfway done with this Tabata. So we got two minutes to go. Four work intervals. Make your way to that plank position. Marching plank coming up. Let's go. 20 seconds. rest. Maybe take a quick child's pose. We're going to come to our feet. You're in that low squat position, one foot staggered in front of the other. Surfer get-ups. Rest. Okay, you are so close to being done with this workout. One more time in each of those exercises, and then we're done with this Tabata. High plank position, marching plank, let's go. Alternate that lead arm. So right, left, right, left, then left, right, left, right. Final few seconds. And rest. Okay, you got 20 seconds to go in this workout. Final round of surfer get-ups. Let's do it. and done. Awesome work. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here every Monday, um, but this week is a little different. I am posting a new workout every day. Tomorrow's we'll use the same structure, but the focus will be lower body. I'll see you then.